Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. We got a very serious uh, message that I wanted to share with you. You're looking at uh, uh, Georgia Powers. Uh, I believe it's the largest nuclear power plant in the state of Georgia. And I got a very uh, disheartening message today. This is coming from people right out of that uh, big F-E you know, that other couple of letters there that go with it, an insider there sharing with me about uh, the threats that uh, that they're concerned about concerning this nuclear power plant there. It says, they said here to me, uh, and let me just read this to you, we had a training last night to bring all the comms back online. They are telling us they expect emergency systems to be affected. Again, but this time they're going to take them down. They're going to deploy us out, but it's really going to be crowd control for people coming into the state. Anticipating an inside job to take down a nuclear power plant that will actually disable most of the grid on the East Coast if they can take the one down and Washington. So... It looks like to me from what I am hearing that they are targeting two different power plants. Uh, and, you know, and of course, sadly, they're saying even an inside job. Now, that is just very disheartening. But you know what's strange is even in Ukraine, there is constant talk, both Ukraine and inside of Russia, targeting the nuclear power facilities. Why in the world were these... <sighs> People that are in power, some of the thugs that there are there, wanting to create such ecological disasters on this earth is totally beyond me. But both Russia, Ukraine, they've been facing threats. I've heard about this through Intel for a long time, that there was intention that if a war couldn't go into one person or the other's favor, they're going to target the plant and make a wasteland in between the two. Quite frankly, I think they're just targeting the people. Uh, another thing, too, I want to just quickly mention to you. I saw a video today, very disturbing. I'm waiting to get a confirmation from my wife. She can understand the language there uh, to see. But it, it appeared to be that in the video that the Ukrainian military was trying to kidnap a woman for military service. Uh, I'm sitting there as I watch this video. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. It's like it's like what they're doing is basically capturing up people, taking you to the front lines for execution. It's really what it comes down to. I mean, it's so sad the number of people that have lost their life all in the name of what NATO wanting uh, to make Russia go to war. I, I just don't understand all these things. It's really kind of nuts. Uh, anyway, listen. Those of you that do uh, uh, subscribe to our Patreon, or if you're not subscribed, you were subscribed, we have been putting up a lot of videos this month here. We just put up a new one on there, an amazing message, and this message here, I talk about Hebrews 13, that going outside the camp, what does it mean without the camp? Well, I discovered what it means in the Dead Sea Scrolls, and it goes even deeper. It's an unbelievable message of redemption, both for the Gentile as well as the Jewish people as well. It's an incredible message. If you've not subscribed to Patreon, look, it's only a dollar a month to join. Come join us over there. It's a great way to support the broadcast. We do appreciate you tremendously. And thank you. Uh, and if, if, if you can't, if you're unable to do that, you don't want to do that, and you just like to support uh, the broadcast the way we are here, then visit our website, Israeli News Live. You can donate directly online, which is really the best way and fastest way. Click that online button right there. Uh, and join there. By the way, Yana and I are speaking again this week. It will not be Thursday. We're moving our our broadcast, our live broadcast we do over to Friday. Uh, and because of the fact that um, uh, I'll be traveling on Thursday and we won't be able to do it, which also brings me to my Thursday night teaching. I might jump on there with you guys for a little bit as I'm traveling there just to talk with you a little bit, those that come over there. Anyway, stephenbenoon.com. That's also the same for Yana's and mine on uh, Friday. This week, Friday instead of Thursday. 
Anyway, God bless y'all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing to Patreon and uh, any of our other uh, things that support the broadcast. God bless.